Hi, this is Bob from Bob Johnson's Computer Stuff, and if you're looking for an online tough book community that gives tips, tricks, and support, hit the subscribe and bell button for notifications of all our upcoming videos. Today, I'll be answering a few of your questions on the CF33, so stay tuned. Hi guys, so today what we're going to talk about is my first impressions of the CF33. Uh, just uh, this week, we got a load of these in. So we have a bunch of them. In fact, if you're interested in purchasing one, it's on our website. I'm gonna put the link in the description so you guys can take a look at what we've got. Uh, the units that came in are the Panasonic Toughbook CF33. Panasonic's newest model that's supposed to replace the CF31. I'm just gonna give you a few first impressions. I haven't really used it a lot, but I wanted to get it on video to show you guys what it is and what it's all about. Well, the first thing I noticed about it is it is definitely a bit beefier and thicker than the CF20, uh, which gives it a better rugged feel. I wasn't impressed with the CF20's rugged ability, but the CF33 isn't bad. It has a much thicker tablet top. So when I say tablet top, obviously, if you guys don't know, this tablet will uh, pop right off and I just need to release it. There we go. And you can see where it, um, and it's rather hefty. It does weigh a little bit. Uh, on this tablet part, they actually have dual batteries. I'm gonna move the keyboard out of the way. By the way, this is a backlit chiclet keyboard. Really nice keyboard. We'll talk about that in a minute. But uh, one thing I like about the CF33 is that it has dual batteries in the tablet. So you end up with one, two, extra battery power for longer life, in, you know, away from the uh, electric plug. Uh, as with the CF20, the CF33's memory is not upgradable. So what you buy it with is what you are gonna have as long as you own it. The, uh, the speed of the memory is DDR3. And um, in addition to that, some things that I noticed right off the bat on the CF33 was the port covers. Now, one of the thing, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you CF31, I got one over here I wanna compare it to, but the port covers seem to be better made and they're less likely to break. So you actually have to slide them out and then lift them up like that. So they're not gonna easily catch on something as long as you keep them closed. The nice thing is over here on the port, the power port, if you recall, the number one port cover to replace on the 31, the CF19, all those places, all those models, is the port cover. It was always breaking because people would leave it open and then it would get caught on something and rip off. Look at this port cover. It slides over the port. No way for it to break off, so you won't have to replace this port cover. Uh, some downsides, some things that I've heard from people that have owned the 33, and had problems with when it first came out was they don't, they are not compatible with your CF31 car dock. So if you have a powered car dock in your vehicle, the CF33 is not going to just pop in there and use the same dock. You have to have a different dock. Panasonic came out with an adapter, but it never worked right. Uh, you will have to replace your dock on to if you upgrade to a CF33. Um, you still have the dual pass-through, just like that. The, uh, but overall, I'm rather impressed with the CF33. I don't think you'd make a bad decision on upgrading to this unit. Well, that's all I got for you today. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next week.